Hello ladies and gents, welcome to the last topic in our AS syllabus and this one's called cash flow forecast. You may also know this as cash flow statements, so they're the same thing, do not get confused. And as the name suggests, this is a statement or a forecast about the cash movement within a business. As you know, business requires cash for day-to-day -day expenses, which we know as working capital and we'll talk about it much more in later in another video. But it's all about making sure that you have enough cash, enough money in your hand to make sure that your bills are being paid and you are making all your expenses and you're going with your business to the next day, to the next day, making it work every day so that you pay your bills. It's a very important factor, making sure that cash is being forecasted so that when it's needed, enough cash is available. Or if you're short, you should be able to make arrangements to make sure that the shortfall is covered with an injection of cash. One thing that's very important at this point to understand is cash and profit are two very, very different concepts. And, and we'll get to the difference between those two in a minute. But before, I want to first explain to you what a cash flow forecast or cash flow statement is. In a simple definition form, it is a sum of the cash inflows and the cash outflows of a company. So how many times you paid within a period, so it could be a monthly period, could be weekly, so if the cash is going out, that's an example of an outflow of cash. If it's coming in, you made sales, customers paid up, that's an inflow of cash. So it simply tells you where you in plus, where you in minus, what are you expecting? Remember, this is the forecast. So this tells you about your expectations for the upcoming month in terms of how much cash are you collecting, how much cash you're paying out. And there are a few things I want to point out before we get any further is that it's it's. Uh, it's normal to see companies that are not making profit, but they're still maintaining their cash. And then that's all right. You are not always a profit-making company. But if the situation reverses, if you're a profitable business, but you don't have cash, that's not a good situation because that means you're not able to pay your bills. Your profits aren't, you can't promise your profits to your suppliers, to the people providing you electricity. So you will find yourself in a, really tough situation if you don't have cash to pay your day-to-day -day bills. Secondly, most cash flow problems are usually seen when businesses are starting out. Well, we have learned that there's a lack of finance and people don't trust you as yet. And there's not enough sales to finance all the daily expenses. So if startup is where you will see that there are cash flow problems. And when you are trying to expand and sometimes you overcommit and over expansion means needing a lot of things and not having enough money to pay for it will also be a problem situation for them. Another reason why cash flow statements are made is that because some banks and some financiers will also look for financial information about the company and they will ask for a cash flow statement to see whether you have the ability to repay the loans that you've taken or repay any uh, other investment that you've taken so that they have that comfort that the company is good for the money. And finally, this is done all in the end to make sure that if there's a shortfall, you cover it. And if there's any need, if anyone needs to go to any sorts of finance to make sure that the shortfall is covered, that could be forecasted and dealt with well in advance, not when the cash is needed. So as I pointed out a little bit earlier, that it's very important to understand how profit and cash behave differently for a business. They are two very different concepts. They need to be recorded differently. Remember, profits are recorded under the income statement we've seen recently, and cash is recorded under the cash flow forecast or cash flow statement. So it's important to understand the difference between the two. We also know that since profit appears under in the income statement, we've seen that cash also appears in statement of financial position. But that's one amount. The details of the incomings and outgoings of the cash is seen in the cash flow statement. So the difference between cash and profit, I want to explain it to you through an example. An example that's given in this table here. So what we've got here, there are three businesses. There's Zombies PLC. There's Airbender Core. And there's Stormtroopers Private Limited. Okay, let's say these are three companies that uh, make comic books and they need some last minute paper and they've bought supplies of $500 each. So we'll keep it simple, same amount. $500 supplies being bought means that 
when the supplies come in, they have to pay the suppliers. And we're going to assume at this point that the, the suppliers have been paid immediately. So as soon as $500 are paid, and as the brackets here suggest that this is an outgoing of cash. So this is a cash outflow. In return, the company expects and they make this comic box and then they will sell it for an amount. Now, these three companies are you going to see that they they make their sales in three very distinct ways. Firstly, for Zombies PLC, they're able to sell all their product for a thousand dollars in cash. Okay, straight up. Airbrand Accor were able to sell it for two thousand, but on two month credit. That means they're going to expect the money to re be received two months later, 60 day credit period. And finally, stormtroopers unfortunately didn't do so well and they were only able to sell it for $300. Now, let's look at zombie PLC first. There's an exit or outflow of 500, there's an inflow of 1000, minus 500, plus 1000, they left with a $500 of net cash. And and we see that the profit that they made on this is also five hundred dollars. They bought it. They invested five hundred. They made a thousand. So they are looking good on both accounts. Thus, we can conclude that Zombies PLC is not only a rich company; they are also a profit-making company. Okay. At this in this example, profit and cash are the same. However, when we look at Aircore, the situation changes. Five hundred dollars of investment. $2,000, yes, you've sold it, but you haven't received any cash for it. Remember, this is being made for a particular period. So let's say this is for a month. If you can get the money two months later, then you cannot include it in this month's accounts. So in this month, you only made $500 of cash outflow. There's no inflow. Therefore, you're at minus $500. Yes, you did make a profit. You invested $500. You sold it for $2,000 you will record a profit of 1500 However, we can conclude that for this month, yes, they are profit making, but they're a poor company. They have minus 500 in terms of their cash. Stormtroopers, unfortunately, they spent $500. They only sold it for 300 So there is a shortfall or a net cash of minus 200 They also made a loss of 200 and that also means that they're a poor company as well as, as well as making a loss. So different situations will yield different results and profit and cash will not always be the same. And situations are very different. Sometimes you'll be a profit making, sometimes not a making problem, not a profit making, but that's fine. But what you have to do is make sure that you're maintaining enough cash to make sure that your business is churning and churning and going on and surviving to the next day. Here you can see a typical cash flow forecast or a cash flow statement. It's simply a summation of the cash inflows and the outflows and to see whatever you left with at the end of the month, at a positive or a negative cash position. They are made for a periodic uh, reading. So January, February, March, April, each period treated separately from the other. And in our example here, we can see that they have taken the example uh, in cash flows of things such as owner's own injection, cash sales, payments by trade receivables, and that means the total cash inflows will be a total of all of these. When we look for that in January, that's a total of $9,000 in terms of cash inflows. Then you look at all your outflows. And the outflows here are Leads, rent, material, labor, other costs. When we sum them up, here they give us a total of 11. So these are two important points. 11,000, 9,000. 9,000 is what we've received, cash inflows. 11 is what gone out. But we also have to look at whether did we have anything to start with in the beginning of January. And that is shown in the form of opening balance. You look at the opening balance, we had an opening balance of zero, so maybe the business just starting up. We've already got a minus two cash position, therefore 
the closing balance at the end of January, you are left with two thousand dollars. The same thing continues for February. One thing to remember is that the closing balance of first month will always become the opening balance of the next month. And that will continue for March. Closing for one becomes opening for the other. And the same will continue for April. We will soon learn how to draw or how to make changes to a cash flow forecast. Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is gonna make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.